The Golden State Warriors dynasty has been one of the greatest in recent memory, winning three rings in five years and regarded as one of the greatest teams of all time. A 73-9 record, a 16-1 playoff run, and all led by two MVP winners and the two greatest shooters ever. But how does that even work? How do you manage that amount of talent on the same team? Well, while Kevin Durant was thought by some to be the Warriors' best player, at the end of the day, the Warriors' success can be traced back to this man, Steph Curry. So today, we're going to be talking about the impact that Steph Curry has had on the Warriors and why he was without a doubt the most valuable player to Golden State even with Kevin Durant on the team. But before we begin, if you're new here, I'm Double D. I'm a huge basketball fan and I make NBA videos here on YouTube every week. So if you're also an NBA fan, or just a basketball fan in general, feel free to hit that sub button and click the bell so you can be notified whenever I upload more videos just like this one. Alright, let's get into the video. Okay, so right off the bat, I want to make one thing clear. This video is not disrespect towards Kevin Durant. The man is one of the greatest scorers of all time, I, he, he's basically a 7 foot tall shooting guard, and he's one of the greatest talents the league has ever seen. Winning an MVP, 4 scoring titles, 2 rings, and 2 finals MVPs, or 0 rings depending on who you are. But before we go forward, let's ask ourselves this. Why were people so mad that he signed with Golden State in the first place? And the answer to that becomes much clearer the more you think about it. Steph Curry for the last 6 or 7 years has been an all-time great player, winning 2 MVPs, one being the only unanimous MVP ever, a scoring title, a steals title, countless 3 point records that I'm not even gonna spend time listing because we'd be here all day, and ultimately winning 3 rings in 5 years, one of those coming without the help of Kevin Durant. But his impact can definitely be proven. Steph Curry missed 53 games in the regular season and playoffs during their time together. In those 53 games, the Warriors went 29-24 and 24 for a win rate of 56%. Kevin Durant missed 50 games in the regular season and playoffs during the same time period. In those 50 games, the Warriors went 36-14 and 14 for a win record of 72%. I mean, Steph Curry is so valuable to this team that the Warriors literally asked him to come on a road trip that he wasn't even supposed to play on just to help restore order to the locker room after the Kevin Durant and Draymond Green incident in LA. But his value goes beyond stats, because we're going to be talking about something called gravity. And what do I mean by this? Let me show you. Okay, so the main thing to talk about here is the impact that Curry has had on defenses, whether he's the ball handler or moving around off the ball. This is something that I've personally never seen before in my entire time watching basketball. But you also have to keep in mind that it's for a good reason. Him being the greatest shooter ever alone is enough to force teams to sell out, no matter what. But this isn't a new thing. This goes all the way back to even before the dynasty began. These clips from the 2013-14 season showcase this. Take this clip for example. Curry's movement off the ball draws so much attention that it can lead to open layups like this. Just a quick eyebrows raised moment to cover Curry coming off a screen and all of a sudden there's an open lob. Or how about this play when Draymond decides to slip the screen, leaving Curry with a double team at half court. A simple handoff and all of a sudden Draymond Green has options to go to. In this case, he sees that Sean Livingston's man is now rotated over, so it's a simple pass over and it's a dunk. You can see here as Curry runs off a screen and draws McKinney's defender, which leaves him uncovered with an open lane to the rim. Steph dribbles across half court and he's instantly a threat. Here Steph Curry simply being the ball handler is enough to draw the attention of three different defenders. He can make two decisions here, he can either go back to Draymond or into Iguodala. Well, Draymond was shooting horrendous in this playoff, so if he went back to him, the Raptors would have no incentive to close out on him fast. So he goes into Iguodala, who also draws attention since he's closer to the basket, which occupies the attention of the defense for just a split second before he passes back out to Draymond, who now sees that Clay is wide open on the wing. And with this setup, Kawhi is now the only person in position to contest the shot. Clay shot fakes, and Kawhi commits. So now he has an open shot as Danny Green doesn't have enough time to rotate over. And this was all created by the gravity of Steph Curry, throwing the defense out of balance. Now, these are crazy, but you don't truly understand how powerful Steph Curry's gravity actually is until you see what happens when Kevin Durant is on the floor with him. And just see for yourself. Okay, so here we see Steph drawing defenders to the corner, leaving KD with a wide open dunk. Or how about this, where we have Curry once again in transition, but this time he has LeBron and J.R. Smith chasing him into the corner, and leaving Kevin Durant wide open. 
We saw more of this in game 1 of the series in transition, where we see Curry being so powerful that defenders will literally part the sea for Kevin Durant just to guard a Steph Curry corner 3. But this angle and this play shows it much more clearly. With J.R. Smith being in position in front of KD on the fast break, but seeing Curry over on the wing, he simply gets out of Kevin Durant's way to give up a wide open dunk. But we've even seen Curry's gravity in effect as recent as last playoffs. Here, Draymond has the ball in the post as he waits for the action. Kevin Durant comes over and slips the screen, leaving Landry Shamit and Jermichael Green watching Curry as KD gets an open lane to the rim. But once again, his gravity is in full effect on the fast break. Here, we see Curry crossing half court and drawing both Patrick Beverly and Montrez Harrell, leaving KD with either an open lane or a pass to Iguodala if Lou Williams comes over to help. Which, he did help, but he was already beat, so either way, it's a dunk. Here we see a 4 on 5 situation for Golden State, with Curry coming across half court and getting a screen from Kevon Looney, he's now attracted the attention of the entire team, leading to this. Do you see this? This doesn't even make sense. Not only that, just look at how long he's open for before they realize that, oh sh**, that's Kevin Durant. You can listen to me say the word gravity all day long, but you'll never truly understand it until you see this. Steph Curry is without a doubt one of the most difficult players to guard in the history of the league. His range combined with his ability to relocate off the ball, combined with his ability to make shots off the dribble with elite ball handling are something that we've never seen before in a player. At least not at his level. So, a unique player calls for a unique defense. I want to make one thing clear, I'm not arguing who is the better player for Golden State during their dynasty. But what I am saying is that while KD was often thought to be the best player for Golden State based on talent, his job was made easier by the attention Curry drew on defense. KD in the playoffs with OKC averaged 29 points, 8 rebounds, and 3.7 assists shooting 45% overall and 33% from 3. In the playoffs with Golden State, he averaged 29.6 points, 7 rebounds, and 4.5 and assists, but he did so shooting 51% overall and 39% from 3. A 6% increase in both overall field goal percentage and 3 point percentage. But that being said, there are things that Steph Curry's gravity does that doesn't show up on stat sheets. Like the amount of shots that are created by defenders selling out, or the ridiculous defenses that teams will run just to take Curry out of the game. And I think that's telling of just how great he actually is, and that he was always the most valuable player for Golden State. If you don't believe me, then maybe you'll believe Tyron Lue. And he's hard to stop, you know, and he's going to score his points. I just think, you know, the most dangerous guy over the last three finals, and we've talked about it, is that Steph Curry. You know, he's when he's making shots, when he's scoring the basketball, when he's passing the basketball, they're an unbelievable team. So I think, you know, that's the hit of the snake. And, you know, we tried to take him away, and I thought we did a good job in game four of just limiting him to, you know, 13 shots. I just think when he's scoring the basketball and playing free, they're really unstoppable. So with that being said, you may be asking, Wait, you said KD was the better player, so why would they sell out on Curry? Well, the simple thing that we've seen throughout the dynasty is that Curry's threes are much more damaging to a team than a Kevin Durant midrange. That combined with his so-called human torch mode can turn a two-point deficit into five, into eight, into eleven in less than a minute. So teams will do whatever they can to prevent a Steph Curry avalanche from happening. And this is why he's been the most important piece of the entire puzzle, and why the Warriors will continue to be a problem going forward without Kevin Durant. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a little different than usual, so let me know what you think. If you're new, be sure to hit the sub button and click the bell to be notified whenever I upload more videos. Leave a like, and comment down below what you want to see next. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.